Hello again, Dinky Danny here. In my most recent video, I was talking about the Magnavox Odyssey, which I picked up at a thrift store for a great deal. And I got a lot of people leaving comments. In that video, I mentioned that the brown box was the original video game, the first video game ever created, and that the Magnavox Odyssey was the first home console ever created. And I got a lot of people writing me in that it wasn't actually the first console, it wasn't the first video game. So I figure I'll put up this video, talk a little bit about it, and give you my opinions on what I think about what was the first video game ever created. Looking back on the history of video games, it can be fairly difficult to determine what was the actual first video game ever created. In 1947, there was a device called the cathode ray tube amusement device. And what this was is it basically mimicked World War II radar. It was a missile simulator where it would, you could control a CRT beam and it would place a dot on the screen where you placed it. It was very simple, it was analog and not digital, and it's one of the earliest documentations of something that would be similar to a video game. Another game was created in 1952 called Knots and Crosses or OXO. It's basically just tic-tac-toe, but the reason it's important is because it was the first game to be showed on a digital display and it's also the first stored computer game. The main game that creates debate in the discussion of what was the first video game ever created is a game that was released in 1958, six to eight years before the Magnavox Odyssey and Brown Box were created, and it's called Tennis for Two. This game uses an oscilloscope as its display and uses vector graphics. You can use two controllers to play with two people, and basically it's just playing tennis. You're hitting the ball back and forth across the net, and you're using the controller the same as you would in Pong to play the game. The debate arises with why isn't this the first video game or why does the brown box can be considered the first video game ever created. The main reason that the courts have defined as the reason that it's not the first video game is because first of all it's an analog device and not digital and second it doesn't have player controlled objects as you can see them playing the game, you can't see a paddle or you can't see any object on the screen that you're directly controlling. Now, that's kind of where things are up for debate because you're using the controller and you are controlling the game, but technically there are no con player controlled objects on the display or in the game. So that's the main debate as to why this would not be the first video game ever created. Now the brown box is basically the same thing, it's, it's essentially Pong and it was created a few years before Pong was developed and Ralph Baer is considered the father of video games because he created this digital device so the main reason that I think that this is considered the first device is because it's digital and it has player controlled objects you could see what you're controlling you could see the paddles as you move them up and down and hit the ball back and forth so basically it's still up for debate technically the brown box is the first video game ever created but a lot of people think otherwise. A lot of people think that the Tennis for Two should be the first video game. And then if you want to even look at it like that, you could go the whole way back to 1947 and say that the cathode ray tube amusement device was the first video game ever created. So if you have any information about this or you want to talk about it, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think was the first video game ever created. It's a really cool discussion. I'm glad some people brought it up on my last video. And I've been having a lot of fun looking into some research trying to determine for myself what was the first video game created. So I'm really glad to have picked up the Magnavox Odyssey. I know for a fact that that was the first home console ever created, so really cool to find that out at the thrift store, and especially for a really cheap price and in such perfect condition. So just figured I'd talk, talk about this discussion in this video. Hope you had a lot of fun watching it. Leave me some feedback down below. I'm Dinky Dana, and thanks for watching.